coffee soup. My granddad made me coffee soup when I was just a lad. His snack digested dentulous that never tasted bad. He broke up saltine crackers in a large bowl almost full. Then poured in sweetened coffee that was steaming hot, not cool. Perhaps learned as a hobo when he used to ride the rails. Seeking work during the depression, mixed in old tin pots and pails. Coffee soup, hot tan goo that grandpap made me eat. I'd rather gulp down candy bars, but that was not to be. All the crackers swelled up giant size, each formed a sodden mass. Then he'd slurp it down with oohs and ahs, assured that it would pass. It never was a gourmet feast, but its flavor was unique. Some ancient mix he'd handed down that he ate three times a week. Coffee, soup, hot tan goop that my grandpap made me eat. I'd rather gulp down candy bars, but that was not to be. But maybe my grandpa was right, he was old and rather wise. Coffee has antioxidants, it's a truly liquid prize. He swore that it could cure my mumps, my fever, and my croup and that all I really needed was a bowl of coffee soup. In fact, I'm feeling poor right now. I think I'll have a cup of coffee soup, hot tan goop, that my grandpap made me eat. Hey, I'd rather gulp down candy bars, but that was not to be. I ate it till I was 18 and suddenly lost my taste for coffee soup, that chewy goop, a caffeine-infused paste. But it can be addicted, he slurped it until he died. Then Grandma washed his coffee bowl and dried it as she cried. It's something everyone should try, it tastes quite good, you see. So hey, make a bowl, but tell no one the recipe's from me. Coffee soup, hot tan goop, coffee soup.